Yo, what's going on guys? Evan Sanaka here, back with another video. In today's video, I'm be showing guys all the best ways to earn tokens in Season 6 of NBA 2K22 My Team. Whether you want to spend them in the token market on silver badge packs or bronze badge packs, whether you, want, whether you want to go through the tiers and you want to go for the Galaxy Opal and then eventually work your way up to the Dark Matter to get either Thurl Bailey or Dikembe Mutombo in today's video, I'll be showing you guys all the best ways to earn tokens right now. Before we get into the video, if you guys are new here, I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe down below. I post three to four my team videos every single day and give you guys some of the best my team content on the platform. No further ado, let's get on. To the video the first best way to make tokens in nba 2k22 my team in season six is just going to be by leveling up as you guys can see every single level you get you do get a different prize and at some of the tiers like level 25 you do get 10 tokens at level 31 you get 30 tokens and at level 36 you do get 50 tokens so from just just leveling up and going for all the other rewards you do get 90 tokens very easily and all you have to do is just level up and you're most likely going to level up anyways to go after this dark matter josh giddy so on the way of leveling up you are going to get yourself an easy 90 tokens the second best way is going to be if you scroll down and go to your skills challenges sometimes they do drop these hollow card challenges that you guys can earn 75 tokens from and all you have to do is use a full squad of, of use your best hollow cards when the game against tim duncan and crew so you do have to use 13 hollow cards now you guys might be saying what if i don't have 13 holo cards it is a little bit tough to get holo cards but they did make them a lot more common out of packs so for for me example i have like easily like 10 holo cards in my collection somewhere now obviously i know a lot of people aren't gonna be able to do that challenge but i just want to let you guys know if you do have 13 holo cards or if you guys start accumulating holo cards over the weeks just come back to this challenge all you have to do is win the game and you do end up getting 75 tokens and honestly it's not that hard to get 13 holo cards and that's a free easy 75 tokens well we're in the challenge screen if you guys come over to spotlight challenges scroll over to zero gravity scroll all the way till you get to the louis louis scola challenge that's another 25 tokens obviously nothing crazy but just showing you guys there's a bunch of different game modes you can play that are just going to accumulate a little amount of tokens but overall is going to add up to a lot more so 25 tokens here 75 tokens from the hollow challenge 90 tokens from leveling up and now we're already looking at over 200 tokens very easy and you can do this every single season so in season five you could get all the 90 tokens from leveling up from season four you could get the 90 tokens from leveling up as well so if you guys just continue to do this every single season you can definitely make a lot of tokens overall now talking about triple the offline not the greatest way to make tokens but if you guys just play the mode and if you if you guys have been playing the mode a lot you do get 25 tokens 20 tokens here and there as you guys work up your way in the wins 30 tokens here you do get tokens just pretty much every probably 100 games as you work your way up 35 tokens here again now i don't really say this is one of the best ways to make tokens because it's really not i'm just saying if you guys do end up playing triple that offline for the other rewards like uh, richard dumas or if you guys are playing for willis reed or if you guys are ever playing for the top tier card or the vault card you will earn some pretty decent tokens on the way there's easily over probably 300 tokens in the entire triple threat offline page pretty easy to do triple threat offline is a really easy game mode to play wouldn't necessarily say it's the best way to make tokens but definitely you guys if you guys are playing it for other stuff you can definitely make a good amount of tokens on the way up i think draft is still a super underrated way to make tokens in my team right now all you guys have to do is play as many games as possible without losing three if you guys can get all 10 wins you will get 31 picks i think it is on the ascension board and basically if you guys know the ascension board from leveling up where you go for this uh, i don't know who the award is is it jerry sloan so at level 26 i do get my ascension board and if you guys know it's like a board there's board number one board number two and board number three and at board number three you can earn a lot of tokens from playing the draft i've done many draft runs in the past where i've got 30 40 tokens from one singular draft run so what i would say is you don't have to play the draft that much because i know it's kind of a boring game mode to play but if you guys want to make some extra tokens here and there and you're, you're kind of bored and just want to play some draft i do think draft is a great way to make tokens as well probably the best way to make tokens in nba 2k22 my team in season six is most likely going to be the triple worth online boards because the fact they did update it so now you do you do earn more tokens as you progress your way up the tiers for example there's tier one prizes there's only one token available in tier two there's three tokens and five tokens available and then in tier three prizes there's a five token and there is a 10 token slot 
as well as some other hidden ones of six tokens, nine tokens, five tokens on random different boards. But I do think Triple Than Online is the best because the fact that you can play this as many times as you want. You can play this a thousand times, five thousand times. But for example, in something like draft, you can only do so many draft runs because you run out of tickets. So I do think Triple Than Online is really good because the fact that you can just keep going through these boards every single day, play an hour to a day of Triple Than Online. And I do think you can make a lot of tokens from this. I would say if you're strictly just going after tokens and you do one single run of all 10 games, you can probably earn somewhere of 30, 25 to 30 tokens in one single draft run. If you guys do play every single game and when you're dropping your balls, you do try to go for the tokens every single time so if you see a five token slot you try to draw for that and if you get lucky i do think you can make 25 to 30 tokens every single draft run or every single trip trip that online run now coming over to your collection if you guys click on your collection screen and you scroll down to the rewards i do think a lot of people have this done but i just want to mention it for any new players that are playing the game or for any players that maybe just started a couple weeks ago and do not know about this screen you come over to the reward screen we have the associate uniform rewards we have the icon uniform rewards and we do have the statement uniform rewards if you guys click on the associate for the east teams you do get 20 tokens for the west team you also get 20 tokens as well if we do click on the icon ones for the east you do get 20 tokens for the west you do get 20 tokens and then for these statement uniforms for the east you do get 20 tokens and for the west you also get 20 tokens as well so if we do the math that's 40 per you know uniform so for example statement that gives us 40 icon gives us 40 and then also associate uniforms do give us another 40 putting that total to 120 tokens like i said most people probably have already done this and know how to do this but if you guys do not know you have to scroll over to your uh xp screen go over down to lifetime agendas and then you want to scroll down to well mine yours will be like right here where these like yeah, yellow balls are but me i have to scroll down to completed lifetime agendas and they're just going to be in these atlantic divisions central divisions southeast divisions northwest divisions and pacific and southwest basically if we just look at atlantic division all you guys have to do is just play the game with different players from different teams for example if you guys get 20 dunks with 76ers players you are going to get the associate uniform if you guys get 23 pointers with 76 players that is going to be the icon uniform if you guys get 30 assists with 76 players that is going to be the statement uniform and is the exact same for every single team for example the the nets dunks the nets threes the next the nets assists we look at the knicks dunks the knicks threes pointers the knicks assists as well it's for every single team in the nba you just go through and do all of these challenges it's really easy you don't necessarily have to focus on this when you play your games but as you just play with different cards throughout the year you'll be able to complete that really easily so if you guys did not know about that that's an easy way to get a free 120 tokens now talking about the best way to make tokens in season six of nba 2k22 my team it is going to be from domination and specifically the nba 75 domination and the dynamics ring domination probably give you the two most amount of tokens if we look at nba 75 you guys can see per division you get 60 tokens per division and there is six divisions in this domination meaning six times 60 is going to be 360 tokens just from playing this domination as well as you guys get mt gold contract packs silver contract packs you get a good amount of contracts and you do get 360 tokens just from playing this division just from playing the divisions this is probably the best way to make and um, uh, best way to make tokens in season six right now is just playing this nba 75 domination and then obviously like i said there's dynamic strength domination which gives you a decent amount of tokens per division as you guys can see it's 15 tokens per division if you do 15 times six the math could be wrong but i'm pretty sure that's 90 tokens all you guys got to do is play six of the divisions and then you will get probably around 120 tokens at the end of this domination so another easy way to make 120 and then the same thing with homecoming it's going to be another 10 tokens per division putting you at 60 tokens as well so just from playing these three dominations you guys can make around 500 tokens which is definitely nice and definitely worth it in my opinion so probably the best way is going to be from domination and then the second best way is most likely going to be from triple threat online let me know in the comment section down below if i missed any ways of how to make tokens but in my opinion those are or not in my opinion those are the best ways to make tokens in season six of ma 2k22 my team leave a like down below if this video did help you guys and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace